So for the last week, um, as you guys know, the police, you know, they've been promoting people and they've post their list and everything. So from the time they post a list about promotion, police has been, the police, you know, police men and women are in my inbox and they're, com and they're complaining about, you know, some of them are there 10 and 12 years, no promotion. I know a sergeant that just recently retired. One kick and she's scum. Yes, I tell you, I said when I get up, I think one kick, no kick, she's scum away. Yes, sir. Because you coming up behind a man back, producing a stabbing effect. Watch, 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 watch this. Economy, the criminal economy in this country is dominated by coolie. Drug dealers, gun smugglers, dope smokers, dope sellers. Check. Them people can't change. Thief man and criminal can't change. Exactly. There will always be a cross section of our society. The main fact, the only body and way they get it. Listen to me. I went into the market to buy mango. And a black lady sitting down there selling mango. You could see this thing is what she doing your whole life. Not because of poor ain't got integrity. It's my integrity make her poor. Y'all ain't got nothing, no semblance anything of integrity. Commissioner of Police and the Acne Commissioner and the PR for the Ghana Police Force. Why do you go continue to go on your page and say all these these good things about these police and how they're doing the job so good? But yet, still when it's time for promotion, these same this very same police that you guys are praising and speaking so highly of are not being promoted. Real people there behind, and you see the blacks that support the PNC, that support them with all their heart and their mind and their body, no matter what they do. No. A rich guy in the fastest growing economy. And them coolie crab, Ashni Singh, Jack Dio, Ifan Ali, and the old, the, the rapist, and all them coolie crab in PPP. Almost 1,000 subscribers in the last 28 days. So if you ain't hit that subscription button yet, now is the time. To join the Delta 9 media crew. This plane is take off every day. You see it, you see it now. This is Jagdeo sitting down in parliament. Even the women in the PNC express, publicly express criminal behavior. This is Jagdeo sit down, speaking with ministers, foreign affairs minister, and another individual other ministers are at the table this is in parliament by the way look at what the opposition parliamentarian does i can't make up these things because when the PNC no listen to watch watch hey man watch watch you think watch you think what you're going on yeah. watch come out watch it put shahan behind jagdio creating a stabbing effect jagdio doesn't even know i you know sometimes i be upset with the level of security offered to Jagdio, the lacking in the level of security offered to Jagdio, if I did that, I would get up and take one kick and she's scum. Yes, I tell you, I said, when I get up and take one kick, no kick, she's scum away. Yes, sir. Because you coming up behind a man back, producing a stabbing effect. Watch, 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 watch this. Right? Watch this. Come back around again, watch. Right? These people are violent, angry people. They're in confusion. You understand? Exactly. They don't have nothing more to say or do. They just go there because of the... Uh, Look at this woman's behavior. Look at Aubrey North. All they talk about is violence and destruction. This is in Parliament. Where you're supposed to act in a certain manner. Watch, watch. What is security? I don't trust she's gone down for the ground, boy. Security should actually work out on it. No, he even catch himself. Nobody in budge. Tad was visibly upset. They ain't catch yourself. Listen to me. This shows the naivety 
of Jadio and the PPP. This woman is supposed to be in jail. This shows the naivety. And I experienced this personally. Things that are supposed to be taken seriously, Jadio is for joke. Jadio study economics, and he is in a race to put money in everybody's pocket and give everybody house lap and help the old people and build bridges in the hope that it's gonna change them. Them people can't change! Thief man and criminal can't change! Exactly. Unless they get killed. There will always be a cross section of our society. The main fact, the only body and way to get it. Listen to me. I went into the market to buy mango. And a black lady sitting down there selling mango. You could see this thing is what she doing her whole life. Another man said, Critic, what by 2,000 mango, man, you rich now? I said, You believe eating fucking mangoes, I always get money? Yes, sir. Mango could go to give me string and eat it, just like tell you. Hey, lady, this boy, ne this boy never get locked up. For all them things we stack and so, I said, What me to stack? Forget lock up. What me to stack? You just get locked up for costs. Eh? Me don't talk lie. No, let us say the, PP, the PNC wants to bring a lawsuit against me for calling them a criminal enterprise and a criminal entity. Is not them kill Vincent Tico? Is not them kill Walter Rodney, the COI assessor? Is not them kill Father Dark? You understand? Who do you think was a threat to them? any other political party you could attribute direct people deaths to. Exactly. They're trying to attribute the, the deaths of the country going on. Police killing thief, thief killing police. They said it's the people, they put up on the, the, the dark days for the baby. The man is a criminal. Ra hey, listen to me, you know what Waddle used to do? This is why you know personally. I can't go into the details as to how I know, but I played a part in information at that time, in the dark days, right? Yeah. Me was a willing youth man, and me, me's a belly man. Me whole life, me a belly man. Me go anywhere, send me, and do what me got to do for get the job done. So Waddle understood the movement and the back from Agricola to Buxton. That's how the yeah, criminals used that. to move. Through the estate, through the, 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 the estate dams, the estate has an elaborate yeah, yeah. network. These areas will be there yeah. at the back of Diamond yeah, and so we open pump. housing schemes and so now. Roger that. Those dams, Waddle, used to carry the criminals. Show, teach them the network at the back there. <laughs> Between Buxton and so. So Waddle, fucking criminal yeah, himself. Everybody know, man. It's only, it's only them. Next year, next month, the next month, the next 24 years. When Fraser killed the one in him, um, who can get out? And then Blackie, and then they went on to drape his, his coffin I, 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 I went with a flag and honor him as a hero at and Coffee hero Square. All them thief man criminals were killed. They buried them in the box and church. And that is, that is one of the PNC's qualities, the ability to plant things in people's head and let them feel like they're in a struggle, like they're in a perpetuated uh, war. The PNC uh, has that unique ability to do that to black people, to let them feel that the struggle of slavery and oppression continues, to let them, to cause them to look away from the need to develop themselves and become somebody. Uh, the PNC yeah. has a unique ability to do that. The PNC That's has exactly a unique ability and have been nurturing the ability to oppress black people. The only people that's really oppress black people is PNC in this country. If you look at it, if you follow PNC, if you're a PNC and you're an ardent PNC supporter and follower, you look at it. You look at the man who got churches. The man who got churches made his money under the PVP. The man who had churches during the PNC time, 2050 to 2020, supported the PNC and take the most licks ever with the business. His business grew, grew into franchise. He did extremely well under the PVP. Nigel supermarket under the PVP. 
Ben, um, Courtney, Ben Construction developed under the BB, went out of business under the PNC. PNC don't like black people. PNC don't like. They love black people. They don't love. They don't like development for black people. Their development for black people is only them could give them it, handing them, hand them in the mouth. Supporters, young black men and women, go there, work for whatever you get, and you will get. Watch me, watch me. The PNC for all the years have had a set of supporters that are core to the bone. The only thing is, when the PNC gets into power, they don't remember these people, Forget like them. Alison Richards, right? No, as if Alison had. Just stay Chicano, not no PNC, not no PVP. And walk every day, like she walk hard, she would have got the same thing she got today. Because she walk hard for it. She walk, she hustle, and raise. Black people in general. People don't know when you get a black friend, partner, nothing. I tell you about a friend, like any other friend. Black people just hold out for you. Me is not a kind of friend. When you do wrong, like to over that. fucking board. Remember, me can't be the kind of friend because I'm the kind of thing where the black people, the I'm easiest not. people for call. You kill somebody, they help you for come cover up. You hear what I tell you? Real people there behind you. see the blacks that support the PNC, that support them with all their heart and their mind and their body, no matter what they do. No. Guyana got everything. Guyana got sunshine. Guyana got some of the best food. Guyana got some of the most beautiful scenery. Guyana got some of the most beautiful people. But you know the one thing that most Guyanese are lacking in? Not all, but most. And I might even want to be tempted to say not most, but some. You know, some of us are still rooted in this racial, racist perspective. We still have this fulcrum within us that causes us to be prejudiced towards other people. That causes us to automatically think lesser than a person or think lesser of people automatically because of how they look because of their racial tendencies their physical features their hair their skin color why why are we so narrow-minded some of us why do we find ourselves separated over this trivial colonized mindset don't we realize that we're trapped in a colonizer's mindset when we're thinking like that and when we're moving like that we're proving that we're still under the mind control of the colonizer why a lot of us still move like this black man this coolie man though. why we can't find unity even in this so-called modern age even in 2024 why are some of us still not smarter than our smartphones to realize that we are all one why do we still have this divide because of past prejudice or because of our present prejudice when will we as people all over the world in the Guyana diaspora right when will we find love for one another in a place like Guyana Look at how beautiful it is. Why are we so ugly to each other? Why are we so nasty to each other? Why we can't find a love within our heart for one another and share this beautiful, wealthy country together? Economy, the criminal economy in this country is dominated by Kuli. Drug dealers, gun smugglers, dope smokers, dope sellers, check. Not because of poor ain't got integrity. It's my integrity make a poor. Y'all ain't got nothing, no semblance of integrity.
Not because I'm poor, I don't work. I work my ass off. But because of criminals, criminals like you in high places, I don't get value for my labor. Which country they're paying you the six thousand dollars a month for people working eight hours a day? Yeah. A rich guy in the fastest growing economy. And them Kulik Crab, Ashni Singh, Jack Yu, Ifan Ali, and the old, the, the rapist, and all them Kulik Crab in PPP. All they're doing is steal. Imagine a freaking dunce. A damn dunce. Like when someone get up in parliament and tell people that the country is doing so well. That citizens are sending money overseas to their family. Only of the PPP thieving class. Ram Charan. Confession is good for the soul. That is what we were saying in the parliament. We from the PPP, the country doing so well that we defy your money and send it overseas. And you come for tell people who talking what? Well? Check. Your female family members that you know see where they were there. So for the last week, um, as you guys know, the police, you know, they've been promoting people and they post their list and everything. So from the time they post a list about promotion, police has been com the police, you know, policemen and women are in my inbox and they're com and they're complaining about, you know, some of them are there 10 and 12 years, no promotion. I know a sergeant that just recently retired, turned for three years as a sergeant. No, go back to the first one. Let me read it. Um, let me read it. Check. Um, so, girl, the promotion list is bare fuckery. Imagine people got years of service and experience, and still waiting on promotion. I know a CPL. I know a CPL was promoted to a sergeant in Region Seven just because his stepfather is commander. Why are the police waiting years just to be promoted? Just imagine Region Seven best cop. Imagine you being the best cop in Region 7 and you didn't even get a promotion and you're the best cop. So why go on? Why, why, the, why the Commissioner of Police and the Acting Commissioner and the PR for the Ghana Police Force, why do you go continue to go on your page and say all these, these good things about these police and how they're doing the job so good, but yet still when it's time for promotion, these same, this very same police that you guys are praising and speaking so highly of are not being promoted. This is another comment. Here is true. On the person mentioned about the promotion list, the dogs and horses were promoted. I'm a member and I'm still constable after 12 years and change. And it's frustrating as a single parent, day in and day out, slaving out. Have nothing to look forward to at the end of the year. So imagine you being a police, you're a single parent, you're a police, and you're going to work every day, you're doing the right thing. 12 years, no promotion. But you turn around, go to the next slide. But then you turn around and then you see a cop or a police that just came into the force a year ago. A year ago. Sometimes two, some of them in the 94 a full year. I know, of a, I know of an incident where one of them is in the force just a couple months and it's already promoted. What does that say about the Ghana police force? Then another person writing a complaint about the, the, um, the, uh, a particular list that the president, the head of president security or president guard, while the promotion was going on. So it's basically you just call, you, in order to be promoted in the Ghana police force, you just call in favors. If you know somebody that knows somebody, if you're politically affiliated and you have a friend that can make a call for you and say, hey, we want this person to be promoted. Can I get a promotion? That's how they're doing the promotion. That's how, that's how police are being promoted. That is what the Ghana police force gone to. The next slide. I want to give you an example. No, this is somebody that wrote in. I actually spoke with this person for a couple of minutes and he was explaining to me that he, um, I'm a rank with 10 to 15 years service with no promotion and, this, and he is still at, at, um, as a constable after 10 to 15 years. I have a few friend from Special Branch CID that have over 10 years of service and no promotion and that issue stemmed from a problem between the force administration and the representative head of the said department. So. I don't know if it's true, it wasn't confirmed, but allegedly Mr. Watts and Hickens get some kind of beef back and forth going on. After I made the post a few days ago about um, 
the horses and the dogs being promoted, but people with 10 and 15 years service, they have in the force and they're not promoting him. Um, someone said, I think the commissioner went and promoted like, tw like 20 persons from DSU, from the special unit or something like that, but it was done quietly, just gave them a promotion. Um, I can say uh, my heart hurts. Um, I know that they're hardworking police officers and men out there. Um, they can't speak, they can't speak out, they can't talk. Their only, their only source of saying something or having a say, of course, is through my page by writing a message and, and you know, ranting and venting to me in my inbox, but that's the most they can do, because you know, you know we're living in Guyana right now, and you know Jack, you see coming after everybody that says ill thing about the government and all of that, so you can't even talk now. And they wonder why I'm still in business. I'm still in business because y'all making me relevant. The shit that the government is doing is making me relevant. So the people don't have a choice but to come to my inbox. They don't have a choice but to come and rant and complain to me about what's happening. And that is why I continue to remain relevant. And I'll continue to remain relevant. All over, people are crying out. Racism, victimization, frustration in paradise in one of the richest places all that beautiful sunshine what's going on mind control mind control something that persons don't want to pay attention to knowing something is wrong but you're still doing it knowing something is wrong but you still can't control yourself you're still partaking in it mind control a lot of persons are under the colonizers mind control so they victimize other people and then they gotta drink it off and they victimize other people and then they gotta sniff it off or whatever they're gonna use to get away from that hate that they hold within themselves mind control mind control that would make another person victimize another person because of the way that they look mind control that would make a man come to work every day and think he's doing his job and he's living in his best way when he victimized another man from progressing for so many years on that same job mind control to where we can't stay focused all of us as adults and realize that we gotta move beyond our prejudices move beyond all our vices and somehow figure out a way to ensure that all the children coming from this generation moving forward grow up in a wealthy, happy environment in Guyana. There's nothing stopping us. You know what's stopping us? Mind control. Focus. If we could focus that and keep our minds controlled and step away from the colonizer the colonized mind control that's telling us that we're somehow better than one another if we go and we achieve this certification we're somehow better than one another if we somehow have a bit more of the company notes in our pocket if we move Beyond that type of mind control, we somehow better than somebody because we're wearing another family name on our chest. So I'm wearing this family's name. So somehow I'm better than you because I'm wearing this family name and I can afford it and you can't afford it. When we move beyond these types of mindset that's been colonized within us, then we're going to realize the real wealth has been taken away. The real wealth love and happiness and the ability to enjoy environment in peace and to live the best life that you could live is being taken away why because we're not staying focused but guess what we are the generation of change we're the ones that's gonna make the difference one love verb while crafted cmos gummies Nutritious, delicious, superfoods. What's your favorite flavor?